I have the pleasure of welcoming Dr. Ankit Agarwal today in Dams Studio, a wonderful Damsonian who has secured a rank 12 in PGI Chandigarh Postgraduate Medical Entrance Exam May 2016, and not just that, a rank of 24 in JIPMER May 2016 Postgraduate Medical Entrance Exam. Wonderful results! Congratulations, Dr. Ankit Agarwal, on your great performance. How are you feeling? I'm feeling blessed. All those chatters that comes to one's mind during preparation of the exam. They are gone now, and I'm I'm feeling very proud of myself. Well, we are also feeling proud of you, Dr. Ankit Agarwal, on such wonderful ranks that you have achieved. Uh, how did you prepare for the exam? I am sure every listener would be dying to listen to this. You know, I'm 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 not from a very good college, as you say. Uh, it was not situated in any big city. It mm. was a very peripheral college. I was only from the second batch of the college. Okay. Uh -huh. So there was no coaching okay. when we were studying. So and our internship schedule is very, 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 very hectic. Mm -hmm. So we didn't get much time during our internship. So so I joined DAMS after my internship last year, and mm -hmm. then I was a regular student. I, I I used to consistently I used to study for eight to ten hours daily, mm -hmm. and then I used to revise those, uh, revise for at least one hour what I have studied in those eight hours. Well, that consistency has paid you very well. You have got wonderful ranks in the most toughest postgraduate medical entrance exams of the country. Another thing, as you have mentioned, that you had, you know, b hectic duties. So time would have been a difficult task to manage. How did you manage your time? Managing time is very important, both during, both during preparation of the exam and during the exam. When you are giving the exam, managing time is very, very important. So how did you do that? Okay. Uh, so I joined, you know, I am not a, I am not, not a kind of person that goes on a fixed schedule. My schedule was a little bit dynamic. I used to make small goals. I, I have to study this topic or I have to study this much today. Then only I'll, I'll, I'll rest. So it helped me because, you know, once we get into that time schedule, we, we start micromanaging things and I, I don't. Well, I think you managed them pretty well. So you secured great ranks, and I think all our listeners are listening to this and are getting motivated by your words. Uh, Dr. Ankit, can you just share with us what was your method of preparation you had adopted? Was it more selective or more extensive? No, I, I had time constraint. You know, I, I joined DEMS after I had done my internship. For the first time, I had no experience of going to a coaching. I had to make notes from start from the scratch. I have to make them notes. So, so w what I did was I stick to the notes. I only added things to the notes that I thought were very important. You know, extensive study was, I knew extensive study was not going to help me at that point. So I, I was selected. No, more selective in your studies. Well, that's great to know. Uh, let me ask you a very direct question now. How important was DAMS in your preparation? You know, you, they say that when you go to a war, <laughs> you need the right weapons. Uh, Dems provided me with that weapons and I am very thankful to Dems. You know, I was very fortunate that when I joined the Dems Jepu Center, mm -hmm. the second or third class was Dr. Sumesh sir class. Mm -hmm. And he told us the way, we, way you should study for the post-graduation examination. I stick to the pattern, I followed, followed what he said and the result. Well, I must say that you have mentioned that it was a war-like situation. It is also said the more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed in war. And I can see that you have set sweat a lot while your preparation and you have bled least in the war by securing wonderful results. I am talking to Dr. Ankit Agarwal here, rank 12 PGI Chandigarh Postgraduate Medical Entrance Exam May 2016 and also rank 24 JIPMER May 2016 Postgraduate Medical Entrance Exam. Well, uh, Dr. Ankit, uh, I am here to say something which you would also agree. The DAMS is quite e active on the Facebook medium. We have the DAMS exclusive club, plus we have the DAMS cloud available to our students. How was your experience? You know, we today we are surrounded by technologies and I think we should use technology to our advantage. So the DAMS club was pretty helpful. Uh, I used to do a job and whenever I used to get free time, I used to open that DAMS club and I used to see the any updates or queries related to the topic I am studying. Also, uh, it was pretty helpful. Uh, during I, I remember that during uh, when I was giving NEET last year, there was a thread on DAMS club. Uh, it was a thread for mnemonics and well, people posted at least 150 mnemonics on that and it was pretty helpful. 
Well, that's very nice, true. In fact, uh, that is the uh, and one more thing that every buddy who has been you know I've been interviewing has said that uh, regarding the controversial co questions and uh, the faculties is, are quite prompt in answering such questions. Would you agree to that? Yes, yes. The controversial questions takes lot of your time. So if you if you if you think only I'll okay I'll I'll, I'll stick what the faculty has said i'll not go somewhere else i'll, I'll stick at faculty you will save a lot of time and that you can save on dams club most of the controversial question you can find on the dams club oh, that's very nice to know from you uh, also let me tell my listeners my viewers here that dams conducts a dvt session every year in delhi at the talkatora stadium uh, did you attend uh, the same i am sure you were not in delhi at that time but did you do that in jaipur yes yes as i, I was not in delhi that time and i wish i had been in delhi that time and uh, mm -hmm. i i i took the class in jaipur oh, right. and was, how was the experience it was a very nice class i recommend everybody to take that class not just because of the images no images are part of dvt we we find questions we find we all of the plus people who have given the, this this may aims mm -hmm. they know the importance of they know the importance of the visual questions right? visual questions okay mm -hmm. so but what was the other thing that i found useful in dvt was that everybody in whole country was answering questions you know even before a faculty was asking the full question and you sitting at that class and you 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 know where you stand mm -hmm. so it was it was a eye opener mm -hmm. and you you knew and and also the timing of dvt was very great it was just one before one month before the aims exam mm -hmm. so if you are sitting in the dvt class and mm -hmm. you don't know the answers to the question you cannot hope that you can select in exams like aims and pgs well would you uh, did you find any of the questions appearing in the main exams as they were shown in the dvt session yes yes i i i will remember one question and i know many of the students would remember that uh, them psychiatry sir had told us that this question would come in this year aims mm -hmm. and it was the question the same question that was came that came in that aim well that was definitely i would say so, very intelligent guess by the faculty yeah Uh mm huh. -hmm. So it helped you. Yes, it helped me a lot. And well, that's very wonderful uh, of you. You know, uh, sharing all these things with us. And uh, we also know, uh, Dr. Ankit, that we have a lot of publications to our credit. Well, I'm referring to the Last Look series, the Comprehensive Re Review series, and also the Harrison's Notebook uh, book, book uh, to be mentioned here. Uh, what is your opinion about the same? You know, I had time constraints, so uh -huh. I had not no no time to read Comprehensive Review series. but the last look se last look series was very very important to revise the subject before the neat exam and also the harrison book i had not read that harrison book before the november aims mm -hmm. but but you know i i got around 300 in november aims and around 100 in pj that time in november so i thought so i i should make extra efforts so that i get in get a good rank next time so i read harrison book and i added those notes those points to my notes and it helped me a lot while well, you definitely worked very hard and you were on the right track you know by mentioning about your uh, ranks in, in in the november aims and pgi but i i think you really did exceedingly well uh, by adding these books in your reading uh, curriculum uh, dams evaluation system let's talk about that you know we have a quite rigorous uh, evaluation system but with that i'm referring to the grand tests and the subject wise tests and the revision tests that we give to the students uh, how do you feel about that Yeah, I was very consistent in giving tests. You know, mm -hmm. I I I give I gave tests religiously, and what what I liked about the comprehensive review, uh, the evaluation system of dams, was that you know the biggest room in the world is a room for improvement, and uh, and we knew that I have done out of twenty five questions in Obsgaini, I have only done right or uh, fifteen questions. So I know that I have to improve in that section. You know, we if you go to a path, you need you need to know if you are go going in right direction. that uh, the evaluation system helped a lot in that. so we give a subject wise break up as well that's what you were telling is going to help ha had helped you yeah. well that's important for the students also we try to make it very simple for the student to understand that which areas to look upon further to strengthen further and which areas he can just go with the same pace well thank you very very much for all the inputs that you are sharing with us i'm talking to dr ankit agarwal today rank 12 pgi chandigarh may 2016 post scheduled uh, medical entrance exam and rank 24 chipma may 2016 post scheduled medical entrance exam uh, uh, dr anke just tell me you know you spent some time with them so while preparing for uh, you know tough exams like uh, post scheduled medical entrance what difference did you find in yourself you know during the time you were preparing and uh, you know uh, joining at dams 
for the coaching until the day of exam no what what can i say nobody nobody and i i didn't believe it myself that i could get selected in one year i knew that i couldn't get selected in one year i joined the dams and now looking back I, it was the best decision i had taken in my life so what what dams did was dams provided me with all the notes you know uh, my rank is just a tip of the iceberg you know the large chunk of ice is dams beneath the water and and i i have nothing but you know respect for all the faculty here but that too that's too modest of you that's how all the toppers have been speaking to me like that but uh, i would say it's all your hard work that has come out uh, you know with, with the wonderful ranks that we i have been mentioning again and again uh, uh, great uh, words here and i think uh, all my viewers uh, will be very happy to listen to that uh, uh, dr ankit just tell me you know uh, which faculty at dams had influenced you the most you know no it, it is very difficult to you know point uh, an individual faculty you know all were great mm -hmm. and the notes were most concise notes i had ever come across with i need not look at anything else so i have i if you have to look at anything else you know you have you look at club you you look at cloud and you will get the most of the stuff you need to compete in the exam you know you you should believe that nobody can can uh, right can you know answer all the questions cannot answer all the question you have to believe that and and especially dr sumesh sir mm -hmm. you know, he, he encourage encourages student a lot mm -hmm. and I'll, i had no no you know no personal i had not talked with personal teacher just yet, so i don't so you find all of them were good yeah well, that's very nice of you to know that uh, dr frank is have you decided upon uh, the branch you wish to opt or you are still you know taking your time in deciding that no i have i have 10 days to think about it <laughs> so i am still thinking about it you know i never thought i would get this far Mm -hmm. so i am taking my time to decide what branch i would pick. take uh, all your sweet time you know you have all the time in the world to make a better decision for your life and as well as for public at large because whatever branch you're going to take that's going to help people at large and before i wind up this conversation any message to your juniors yeah work hard mm -hmm. there is no no alternative to working hard you know if you work hard you will get good rank i got good rank so you can also get good rank and i was not a good student during my graduation so i just want to say that work hard it is not the most intelligent student that gets selected every time the person who has the strongest will will also get selected so be there and be strong and study hard would you recommend dams uh, to them yes i have definitely recommended dams to many of my junior they have they they joined dams this year and i hope very best for them well thank you very much dr ankit agarwal for your kind words your valuable inputs and your wisdom that you have shared with us and i formally thank you for this interview i was talking to dr ankit agarwal rank 12 pgi post graduate medical entrance exam held in may 2016 and also rank 24 in jipmer post graduate medical entrance exam held in may 2016 thank you very much once again we wish you all the best in all your endeavors in life